Now we know how to add integers, so let's have a look at subtracting integers. Integers uh, are positive and negative numbers and uh, not fractions or decimals, so just kind of positive and negative whole numbers. So let's have a look at subtracting positives and then look at subtracting negatives. Okay, well if we had obviously seven dollars and we subtracted five, that would be two. That's easy enough, right? If you had ten dollars and you subtracted ten, that would be zero and we're used to that. If you have ten dollars and you subtract fifteen, what would that be? Write it down. Do you think you would be going into debt? How far in debt would you be? You have ten dollars, subtract fifteen. Would you be in debt by five dollars? Right? Interesting. So if you have twenty dollars and you subtract fifty. Twenty subtract fifty. How far are you in debt now? In debt by thirty dollars, right? Um, so um, let's have a look. If we have this, for example, in your hand a twenty dollar note and a fifteen dollar bill at a restaurant. What does it make altogether? Write it down. What is that? How much money is that altogether? Is it five dollars? Right? So this is five dollars. Now subtract means take away. Five dollars take away twenty. If I was to do that, if I had this is five dollars right here. Now if I was to take away positive twenty, I would do that. Take away twenty, right? And you'd be left with negative 15, right? Five dollars take away 20 is negative 15. Okay. Um, uh, another way to look at it is we can change subtracting to adding the opposite. So this would be seven plus negative five. Seven good guys, five bad guys, two good guys. Uh, ten plus negative ten. Ten positives, ten negatives makes zero. Ten plus negative fifteen. Ten positives and fifteen negatives makes negative five. Twenty plus negative fifty. Twenty positives and, ne and fifty negatives. And we've done this already. That makes thirty negatives. Five plus negative twenty. Five positives and twenty negatives makes negative fifteen. So, just for fun, Let's do this. 4 minus 3 minus uh, 2 minus 10, right? Subtraction can be changed to adding the opposite. Let's make a note of that. Subtracting can be changed to plus negative, adding the opposite, right? So this subtraction sign can be changed to plus negative. This can be changed to plus negative, and so can this, plus negative. So now it says positive 4 plus negative 3 plus negative 2 plus negative 10. So that's a positive 4 plus a negative 15, which makes, make parentheses around this, negative 11, right? If you had um, positive 1 minus 3 plus 2 minus 8 minus uh, 9, what would that be? And again, subtracting can be changed to adding the opposite. See a subtract sign, plus negative. See a subtract sign, plus negative, plus negative. Now it says a positive, three negatives, two positives, eight negatives, and nine negatives. Let's put the positives together. One and two makes positive three. Put the negatives together. By the way, these would cancel out and make zero anyway. But this and this is negative 11, and this is plus negative 20. So whichever way you add them up, you should end up with three positives, 20 negatives, and that's negative 17, right? What if you were in debt by um, $50? So it could be this situation. Say you have a $10 bill, in $10 note in your hand, and a parking ticket of $60. How much money is that? 
all together right here. Um, this is negative 50, isn't it? This is negative 50. So I have negative 50. If I then subtract the positive 10, I'm in debt by 50, negative 50. I'm subtracting the 10. I'm taking the 10 away, and I'm left with, what am I left with? Well, just left with the negative 60, right? The parking ticket. So in debt by 50, subtract 10, I'm in debt by 60. If in your bank you were in debt by $100, and then a, a electric bill was automatically taken out for $150. So your bank has negative 100 in it. Then an electric bill is subtracted, taken out for negative uh, uh, 150 taken out. So how much money is in your bank now? Negative 250, right? Okay, so that's subtracting positives. Let's have a look at subtracting negatives. Um, what would be the best way to do this? Well, let's put it here for now. If we had subtracting a negative is, um, let's have a look at this situation. First of all, $500 in your bank, and all of a sudden there's a bill of $80, an electric bill of $80 added. So what's in your bank now? You have $500 in the bank, $80 uh, of a bill is added to it, and that leaves you with 420 in the bank, right? Now, if that bill was incorrect, it needs to be cancelled. Sometimes bills are cancelled, and that's what subtracting negatives. What That's one application of subtracting negatives, is cancelling a bill. If you have the 420, and you cancel the bill of 80, then, if you cancel that bill, you're back to having 500 in the bank again, right? So, a negative negative, double negative, is like a plus sign, and you're adding these together to get 500 again. So, another example, if you have $1,000 in the bank, and your rent bill is added to that amount, so $1,000 plus a rent bill of $400, a negative 400. Now you'll have $600 in the bank. But if, if you move house and somebody else needs to pay that bill, then this is what happens in your bank account. You have $600 and you're going to move house, so the rent bill is going to be cancelled. Somebody else is going to pay it. So you have $600, cancel the bill of $400. And if you cancel a bill or cancel a debt, that's like adding on. You're back to having a thousand in the bank, right? So negatives are sometimes good. When you have two negatives in front of each other, that's a good thing. Okay? So think about it. If, if you had $300 and a bill of $500 was canceled, does it make you feel good or bad? If a bill of $500 is cancelled, doesn't that make you feel good or feel positive? So now you have $800, right? And for example, what if we had, um, this is our credit card, in debt by 200 on the credit card, in debt by 200. Um, you're in debt by 200. And you want you don't want that anymore, so you want to cancel that computer computer you bought for eight hundred dollars, right? So your credit card says negative two hundred. Cancel the debt of eight hundred dollars for the computer. How much money's on your bank account on your credit card now? You're canceling a bill. That means you're going to get more money. Taking away negatives is a good thing. Taking away a negative is a good thing. So if you cancel that bill, you're back to 600, right? Now, there's a nice trick for this. If I 
subtract a negative. It's like adding a positive. 600, 400 makes 1,000. Again, if I subtract a negative, if I take away a debt, that's a good thing, and I get more money. So subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive, and that's 800. I'm in debt by 200. I, subtracting eight, uh, a debt of 800 is like adding positive 800. Negative 2 plus positive 8 is positive 6. So if I have negative $3, and I subtract negative 5. We can use the trick that two negatives make a positive. Or uh, taking away a negative is a good thing. So negative negative makes plus plus. And now we have $2, right? So what would this be? Negative 1 minus negative 1. Negative, negative makes plus, plus. Negative 1, positive 1 is 0, right? So what is um, negative 10 minus negative 6? So you have negative $10. You cancel a debt of negative 6. It's like adding $6. But that's negative 10 plus positive 6. You're still in debt by 4, right? So what's this? In debt by $100, cancel a bill of $85. And negative negative makes plus plus. So you're in debt by 15, right? So just to recap, and by the way, if you have to use a calculator for this, you will not possibly get through the algebra sequence of classes. You will not do it. It has never been done. There has never been a student that has got through college algebra who needed a calculator to do these calculations. You have to know how to do negative numbers by hand. It's absolutely essential. So, Let's do them all by hand if you haven't been doing so already. Subtracting positives. If you have $3, you take away 5. What happens? 3 minus 5, that's $3. Take away $5, you're in debt by 2. Right? If you have $3 and you take away negative 5, $3 take away a bill of 5, Take away a debt, that's like adding 5, leaves you with 8. If you have $1 and you take away um, $2, what happens now? One take away 2 leaves you with negative 1. Of course, you can remember the trick that if you see subtraction, you can change that to plus negative. Now it's 1 plus negative 2, negative 1. If you have $1 and you take away negative 2, do that one. You have a dollar, subtract a debt of two. That's like adding positive two gives you three. Okay? You're in debt by one dollar. Now subtract one dollar, what happens? Negative one minus one. Well, it's like adding negative one. Negative one plus negative one. That's one negative plus two plus another negative makes two negatives. What about this? You're in debt by 1, you subtract negative 1. Negative 1 minus negative 1. Negative negative makes plus plus. Negative 1 plus positive 1 is 0. So I'll do this. Negative 3 minus 3, and then negative 3 minus negative 3. Negative 3, subtract 3, is the same as negative 3 plus negative 3, which is negative 6. In debt by 3, subtract negative 3, that's like cancelling a negative, plus plus. Negative 3 plus positive 3 is 0. So just for fun, how about this? Negative 1, subtract 4, subtract negative 5, 
add 2, subtract 5, subtract negative 3, subtract 1, and do it by hand. Again, it's essential to be able to do this by hand. And um, I'm doing you a big favor by letting you know that now while you're in this class because you won't have time to learn how to do this stuff by hand in later classes. You'll be too busy doing other things. So now's the time to learn how to do this by hand. A subtraction sign can be changed to plus negative. Two negatives can be changed to plus plus. Subtraction sign plus negative. Two negatives plus plus. Subtraction sign plus negative. Now we have negative 1 plus negative 4. We can gather up the negatives, then gather up the positives, and then get the answer. The negatives, we have uh, negative 1 and negative 4 is negative 5. And negative 5 is negative 10. And negative 1, we have negative 11. Now gather up the positives. Po so positive 5 and positive 2 is 7. And 3 is positive 10. So that all makes a negative 1, right? If we had negative 2 minus 3 minus negative 2 minus 1 plus 3 minus negative 5 minus 4, calculate that. Subtraction can be changed to add negative. Negative, negative, plus, plus, subtraction, add negative. Negative, negative, plus, plus, subtraction, add negative. Right? Now, put the negatives together, put the positives together, get the answer. Negative 2 and a negative 3 is negative 5. And this is negative 6. And this, we've got negative 10. So we took care of all the negatives. Negative 10. Now put the positives together. Positive 2, positive 3 is positive 5, and positive 5 is positive 10. So we took care of all the positives. Write down the answer. 10 negatives and 10 positives, 0.